The newspaper business has been through a, a rough few years, as you know. Some mainstream publications have struggled to make a profit as people go digital. But one area is thriving. Natalie Fury takes a closer look. The newspaper business, seen by many as a dying trade. But here, the press is run 24-7. There are 40% more newspapers now rolling off the presses than five years ago in more than 20 languages. They're going through a, uh, a, a new revival. Uh, it's become much easier to print a newspaper. This stands in stark contrast to traditional daily newspapers. There are 1,000 fewer publications in the US than there were 10 years ago, as readers move online to get their news. But as the immigrant population in the US grows, so has the demand for ethnic newspapers. This area of Queens in New York is one of the most ethnically diverse in the world. So it's no wonder that in New York City alone, there are over 100 ethnic newspapers, and it's estimated that they're read by close to a third of the city's residents. And across the US, almost a quarter of the population reads foreign language papers, according to the City University of New York's Center for Community and Ethnic Media. They provide important information about their new world, which is New York City. And they also provide them about information uh, from back home. One man who knows how to reach his target market is Khalil Rehman from Pakistan. He and his wife started the Urdu Times in this New York basement 34 years ago. I decided to uh, you know, start the free newspaper. Everybody was telling that he, this guy is crazy. He, he's not going to make anything. In four to six weeks, we had enough business to cover the expense from there. The paper is now read in 18 cities across the US, Canada and the UK. Costs are low because the design and layout are done in Pakistan. Meanwhile, advertising revenues are stacking up. Uh, we have a full page of classified, all paid classified. We have a good reputation and uh, people get response. Rehman has also started an online edition and he's confident that as long as there are immigrants coming to the US, people will continue to pick up his and other ethnic newspapers. Natalie Fury, CCTV, New York.